Hi Booktube, it's Sharon and today I thought I'd review Outlaw, just give you a quick take on what I thought about it. Outlaw is by Ted Decker and it's about a woman named Julian who decides after having this really interesting dream that's you know completely vivid to her that she's going to go into the jungle and become a missionary basically. There's obviously more story to it than that because it was enough to keep me reading the whole entire book I, but at first I thought I wasn't going to be that interested. I actually skipped it and read two others that are in the Chronicle, you know, the Outlaw Chronicle. There's four books so far. Outlaw, Water Walker, Eyes Wide Open, and um, Hacker. I didn't think that Outlaw was going to be that interesting because it was in the jungle and it was, I don't know, I didn't think so. But after reading Eyes Wide Open and Water Walker, I was curious about the character Stephen who appears in those books. He was very mysterious to me and I knew that Outlaw was about him. So I went and started reading it. Lo and behold, it started off from, you know, first person point of view from this woman named Julian. She was, you know, in the sea about to drown. Now, the way it was written, I thought, oh, this is actually quite interesting. You know, and suspending my belief of how she's writing this if she's in the sea. I just carried on with it and it actually turned out really interesting throughout the book. There was a lot of different situations, you know, it goes through her being uh, in a hostage situation and um, being captured to having to adapt to the different cultures of the tribe that captures her um, to, and her son at that point is two years old. But then halfway through the book, it transitions to him after she's gone through a whole lot to try and get her son back and keep her son alive. Thing is, they get separated and um, <laughs> just because it's the middle of the book and the main character is the main character doesn't mean with Tedeka that they don't die. But you have to kind of go ahead and read it and see what happens. It was really rather interesting. It, it goes on to 20 to 18 years later when the son Stephen is 20 and um, he was really cool. If you've read Ted Decker's uh, Black Red white and green yeah he reminded me of thomas hunter from there especially because of his martial arts skills and stuff but he was really cool and he was a strong character and i enjoyed him and the story overall I, it was actually really quite an interesting story and i wouldn't mind reading it again honestly it's one of those books i could do that with so i suppose not much of a review but my opinion was i liked it i enjoyed it and you should check it out as well. It's an interesting book. Cool thing about how I got it, um, I subscribed to this email list and I'll leave a link in the description that tells me about free and discounted, um, mostly Christian ebooks. And one of the days it told me about Outlaw and it was happening, it happened to be on sale for $3.99. And I had a coupon for three dollars so I happened to get that book for 99 cents for my Kindle but that's cool because I can get it instantly so enough of me rambling I in short liked Outlaw and I will see you again next time bye oh PS you can also read my proper written review with a bit more thought in it at my blog which is also in the description okay bye